Little but mighty! Relief, relief. Most students tend to use these two words interchangeably. Are they acceptable spellings of the same word? Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lee and I'm a teacher at Leo But Mighty. The answer to the earlier question is no. Relief and relief are not acceptable spellings of the same word. What is their difference then? Let's look at the following example to help you identify their difference. Let's take a look at these examples. Have you noticed how the words are used differently? If yes, you would agree with me to say that relief is a verb and relief is a noun. In the first example, you can see how taking medication leads to the action of relieving or reducing the pain in my foot. In the second example, relief is referred to as a thing. In this case, the feeling of happiness that I get from taking medication. A great tip on how to use these words differently is to pay attention to the words that come before and after relief or relief. As relief is a verb, you often need a noun after it to show that an action is being done to somebody or something. Let's look at this example. Here, Jackson is doing the action of relief to the noun stress such that he feels better. Another clue is the use of to, which must always be followed by an infinitive, which in this case is a verb in base form. As for relief, you can look up for articles like the and a, prepositions like in, with and of, and pronouns like his and her, which hint to you that you need to use a noun or a noun phrase after them. Let's look at this example. Notice how sai is followed by the preposition of before the word relief. The phrase, a sign of relief, is a noun phrase which refers to the happiness that Jackson now feels after taking a walk. Let's try the following questions to see if you have nailed the use of these different word forms. Feel free to pause the video to attend the questions now. Did you manage to answer them? Let's check your answers. Question 1. Here, the first clue is the use of to, which should always be followed by an infinitive verb. Secondly, the noun phrase its pain follows after relief to show that the dog was acting on its pain. This reflects the need for a verb here. Question 2. In this question, the preposition with signals the need for a noun to follow after it. Therefore, we use relief in this sentence. You can also see that relief is clearly a noun, which acts as the reason why Lens is smiling. Fun fact! The words believe and relief follow the same pattern too. Believe is used as a verb and belief is used as a noun. Remember to use the tips that you have learned here to spell these words accurately in the exams. Now that you know the difference between relief and relief, some of you may still be wondering about the use of relieved. Is it a verb or is it a noun? Let's look at these two examples and compare them with one another. Figured out how relieved can be classified under the word classes yet? The answer is that relieved can be classified as both an adjective and a past tense verb form of relief. In the first example, you can see that relieved acts as an adjective that describes the feeling of one being happy because something unpleasant has stopped or has not happened. Notice how relieved can be replaced with happy, which shows that it is an adjective to describe Nietzsche's feelings. In the second example, notice how relieved is an action done by Nietzsche to reduce the stress he felt. Like relief, the verb form of the word is usually followed by a subject or a noun, which in this case is the stress. To summarize, relief is used as a verb, while relief is used as a noun. We also discovered the use of relieved, which can be seen as a past tense verb form of relief or as an adjective, depending on the way that it is used in the sentence. Let's take a final test to see if you have nailed the use of relieved, relieved, and relieved accurately. 
Pause at each question to read and attend them before I review the answer to you. Let's start with question 1. The answer here is number 1, relieve. We are using a verb over here. As you can see, the noun, the symptoms, which comes after relief. This means that you are making the symptoms less serious. Since the verb comes after can, you will therefore need to use the infinitive or base form of the verb. Therefore, your answer should be number 1. Let's now look at question 2. The answer here is number 3, relieved. Notice how we do not see a noun after relieved. And based on the question, the word relieved here is used to express how the students felt about the test being postponed. Therefore, the answer will be number 3, the adjective relieved. Let's now look at question 3. I hope you saw a wave off and got this one right. The answer here is number 2, relief. A wave of relief is a noun phrase to express the happiness that Gupreet felt after she had found her wallet. Therefore, the answer is number 2, the noun relief. Have any questions that you still can't seem to solve with the use of relief or relief? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below or even to share sentences that you have created with these different word forms. Happy practicing! If you have been enjoying the content that we have created so far, don't forget to like and subscribe.